There is a heavy, hands trembling, eyes wide open moment that occurs between dinner and the last piece of molten lava fudge cake. When two adults look into each other's eyes and decide to engage in coitus. <laughs> and if either of these adults are over 350 pounds, they are thinking of one thing. The bed frame. Four pieces of melted steel connected only by slender screws are expected to support this fat love, this rumbling love, this neither of us ordered the salad love. <laughs> every, every fat person is an engineer when it comes to the dynamics of a box spring. If it's Ikea, we ain't fucking on that box spring. Particle board. Particle board doesn't prevent metal coils from skewering mattress tops while celebrating this large love, like it was trying to interrupt this good love, but failing to cease the spread of this extra cheese love. Like a MySpace photo album, angles are everything. One leg in the air, off the bed, two doughy bodies contorting into salted pretzels. Every fat person in a bedroom has the flexibility of a gymnast. Fat love is like nothing you see in magazines, on TV, or movies. We proudly rip these shirts off and fill the air with a skin only we are familiar with. Fat love is loud! A moaning metal frame knocking against the wall will make your neighbors check the front door because that sound can only mean emergency. Fat love is an emergency. Not enough hands grasp these folds of succulent flesh. No one knows how beautiful a consummation of bellies can be. The slow swell of stomach tumbling over bed sheets is like boulders igniting a fire that burns for hours. Fat love cannot be extinguished. Even in an air-conditioned room, our drenched skin stays stuck the second we melt into each other's palms. Every body craves touch, just like every mouth craves salt. But there are too few that know to savor every inch of stretch their tongue washes over. Fat love is grateful for any collision of body. Every graze of fingers are in remembrance of the nights we sweat alone and dreamt our thighs were rubbing against anything other than ourselves.